Let's go, baby. Fucking coward. It's not me. Kike, bitch. <laughs> I just dropped that on my head. That didn't even go to. Um, anyways. Damn. Miami Heat announced that center Myers Leonard will be away from the team indefinitely while the NBA looks into an incident where Leonard used an anti-Semitic slur during a video game live stream. Both the league and the team released statements condemning any use of hate speech while Leonard himself apologized through an Instagram post writing, quote, while I didn't know what the word meant at the time, my ignorance about its history and how offensive it is to the Jewish community is absolutely not an excuse. And I was just wrong. So, that's the apology. Shannon, what do you make of what Leonard had to say here? Give me some bull, Jive. How about I just apologize? Guys, I'm sorry. To the Jewish community, I understand how offensive that word is. I want to apologize. I'm going to do everything I possibly can to make amends for my, my terrible, terrible misspeaking, my mistake. I apologize. Skip, to say you don't know what that word mean? People don't use words. Because guess what he sandwiched it in between? Two expletives. Effing slur expletive. He put emphasis on it. He wanted whoever he was talking to to feel what he was saying. Just like when they utter the N-word. They just don't use the N-word by themselves. They say F and N. Mm -hmm. N-B. For emphasis. That's how they use it. And so for him to not apologize, but say, I didn't know the meaning of the word. Bro, ain't no apology. Once you say you don't know you, you're not apologizing. So you just lost everybody. How about just come out and say, I'm sorry. I was wrong. I uttered something that I should have never uttered. But if you think this is the first time, you're sadly mistaken. Because guess where he was, Skip? In the confines of his own home. You remember Kyle Larson last year when he was yeah. doing that, that simulated race? Yeah. And he uttered that? Because he's comfortable. Skip, yeah. you let your guard down when you're comfortable. You comfortable in your own house. You probably walk around in your box and you and Ernestine, y'all just talking. You comfortable. Things that you wouldn't do in public or in someone else's house. Mm -hmm. You put your feet up on the coffee table. You come in, you just fall out on the couch. You wouldn't do that anywhere else. But in your own home where I'm comfortable, I, I, I have the security, the confines of my own walls. Mm -hmm. I will speak freely. He spoke freely. This is him. So if you think this is not him, you're sadly mistaken. Skip, you don't go to words like this. You don't go, Skip, he played a video game. I get it, Skip. You know, I, I play video game. God dang it. Mm. You lucky you know what. Man, you suck. Skip, he could have went to a lot of words. He could have said oh, mofo, SOB, mm. fatherless child. That ain't where he went. He dug deep. He went to one bag and said, well, you know, that bag right there, everybody going to know that one. So then he going to play ignorance when he go to another bag. The Jewish community view that word, what he uttered, just like the black community view the N word. Absolutely. And then you gonna give her there with that half-hearted bull jive apology. Bruh, just apologize. Make no excuses why you said it. You said it. I'm sorry. Jewish community, I'm sorry that I offended you. I know it's offensive. And I'm sorry. Yeah, listen, it, it, it depends. Like, I, I like what Miami did. Um, and, and for individuals that's trying to determine whether they want to forgive My Myers Leonard or figure out if he actually knew what he was saying, I'm not here for all that. Like, we're we in 2021. Your education on what how you should approach people, talk about things, words you should and shouldn't use should be at the forefront of your brain. Like, that. that is... That is a moot point to me. For education, yes, I'm with it. As a part of your process of, of dealing with the consequences of you using words out of turn, words that are disrespectful, words describing a group of people that that don't that doesn't that shouldn't exist in your vocabulary. That's what we're talking about. We're not talking about free speech. We ain't talking about none of that. We're talking about things that you words that are used to to denigrate. A, a segment of people. So the bottom line is, whatever the responsibility is for Myers Leonard to rectify or come to terms with what he did, but also use this time to educate himself and all of that. I'm just not here anymore for people talking about grown people making a mistake about words that they use. We, we are a generation. We are a generation of people with access 
to all the information we can possibly all stand. All the information. Damn near too much information. So it's always <laughs> when these situations arise, well, I didn't know that that offended people the way it did. Or I didn't know the real term or the, or the meaning of that word. That could be true. You know what it means when you don't know the meaning of it? Don't use the damn word. Thanks. Right? Like, so exactly. it, it is simple for me. Myers Leonard needs to atone for his his speech and how uh, how that affects a, a, a group of people. But it's also he also needs to carry the responsibility of saying the word and not let it be off put by saying I didn't know that that would affect people like right. like like it has. So listen, I, we get on television, we talk when these things arrive. Deshaun Jackson went through it. He went through learning and, and talking about this and understanding the pain and the things. So I agree. Myers Leonard should go through those same things. And I'm not I'm not a big cancel culture dude. Like I don't believe that you can't be um, some things can be rectified. Some things for, for Marcus, I'm mm -hmm. speaking for me, I don't think you can come back from, or I'm not going to at least allow you in my mind to come back from it. I'll always look at you at, in a certain way when things like that arise. But the bottom line is, like, the excuse of I don't know or I didn't have an idea what that word meant, don't put that in y'all apologies when y'all say dumb stuff. Whoever is the next person to say <laughs> something you. dumb.